After a month of researching and collaborating with makers and professionals from all around the world, we have finally built an oxygen concentrator. We went from learning about the ABCs of oxygen concentration to building multiple iterations with makers and labs all across the country and subsequently built something that can be taken for testing and eventually reach patients suffering from COVID. We are able to consistently get 15 litres per minute output at 95% plus oxygen concentration. So let me walk you through the prototype in its current form. So on the front of the machine we have the oxygen flow meter which controls the litres per minute output from the machine. Uh, it's going from 0 to 15 uh, litres per minute and right now it is set rock solid at 15 litres per minute. We have a display up front which is, which is going to be displaying the oxygen concentration percentage in case any alarms uh, need to be displayed about anything wrong in the machine. We also have uh, the pressure dials that are, that are showing the, the critical pressures of the PAH system of the oxygen concentration. Now let's look at what is behind the machine. So we have a quick access control hatch using which we can see all the internals. I have another display inside which is showing me the oxygen reading and it is currently reading 96%. So the air from the compressor is cooled with the copper cooling coils over here. The cooling coils then goes to a moisture separator. Now the moisture separator over here is a critical component because that removes all the water from the air. And this is one of the critical components that is missing in most commercial oxygen concentrators and that's the reason why most of them fail after a few weeks. So after the moisture separator which removes all the moisture, we have the pressure regulator which is regulating the pressure that's going into the system. Then at the back we have these two sieves. This is where we have the molecular sieves, the zeolite. Uh, we are using sodium 13x which is basically filter that filters out the nitrogen and separates out the oxygen and lets oxygen pass through. Uh, the oxygen then goes to uh, another uh, pressure regulator to an uh, oxygen sensor and is also piped at the output. Building the oxygen concentrator wouldn't be possible without the help of people from all around the world that came together to help out with knowledge, sourcing and support. I'm also really grateful for the team here at Fractalworks who have been working tirelessly around the clock despite the lockdowns in Bangalore. Now that this machine is done, we're looking to partner and work with organizations that can help us turn this prototype into a final product with relevant medical clearances as well as help with funding, sourcing and manufacturing. If you think you can help or know somebody who can, please get in touch with us and share this video.